everybody, BK with Masada Tactical here with another video. I don't have a microphone, I am outdoors, so I hope the audio works out well. But I want to take the time to make this video following a few questions that came up about what gear I use. And I actually recently uh, posted an image on Instagram tagging a bunch of these companies, but people wanted a little more detail about what I like and what I don't like on each one. So it is a, this would be my honest, unbiased uh, review of the gear that I use. I like obviously most of it since I use it, but there are elements in each one that I find not to be ideal and I want to share that with you guys. So I don't have a smart little header for this one, but we're going to go right into it and I'm going to go through all the different pieces that I carry and use when teaching, competing or carrying operationally or concealed as a civilian um, on a daily basis and I'm going to share it out with you. So this video is going to be actually part one of a two-part video. So in this video, I am going to cover the tools that I carry when in a tactical environment, when I teach, when I'm operationally as a police officer, or when I compete in one of those tactical game type events, right? I'm going to leave my daily carry, so my EDC, my pistols, my concealable uh, items to a different video, uh, so I don't overwhelm you. This video, as is, is going to be a little longer than usual. Again, I'm at the range, so I apologize for every background noise that you guys are hearing. But let's start, start with the basics. We're gonna start with the carrier. So this is the carrier. I you guys you see it in all my pictures. I carry it all the time. I wear it all the time, right? Uh, I wear it in competitions. I wear it operationally. I wear it where I teach. It is made by Ferro Concept, and it is called the Slickster because that's what it is. It is a slick carrier. There are no patches on it. There is nothing on it. Honestly, it comes with a flat or completely slick front and rear it doesn't even come with a cover band if you don't want to if you want to attach a different cover band you can attach your own right the one that you could buy from ferro this one uh again slick as well does have spaces and pouches for items for magazines to radios and so forth but being that i like the slick approach i don't like stuff on the side of my body i keep it as is and it's just there to retain and make sure that that vest stays tight to my body the pouches that i actually have on the vest okay okay my magazine carriers and my uh oh sheet pouch right are made by agilite so ferro concept does make their own um i'll be honest they are good uh quality pouches however there are some issues with them that i didn't like mainly when it comes to restowing away magazines right so they are uh, the one they, they do is uh a collapsible type elastic material so has good retention but once you pull the magazine out it's almost impossible to put it back in the one i use is made by agilite it is the placard magazine holder design right so it has actually has a rigid top right so it is the same elastic material to maintain retention but it's easy for me to store it again because the top is kind of flared out a little bit and makes insertion a lot easier agilite also makes this uh six pack that's what they call it the, pouch use it for medical equipment and some administrative tool uh, so it's a lot easier for me to carry to manage everything in the front of my body uh, again regardless of whether I'm competing teaching or operationally everything is right here so if I'm moving for a building moving for a bus or just on the range okay it doesn't get in the way and I can access all the tools I need agilite makes their own carriers they're good carriers uh, the only reason I don't use them is I asked them for some information and got pretty poor customer service. Told you I'm not gonna hold back on this video. Uh, so I bought these items because I really like them, but I uh, find it hard to support and buy a company that uh, provides poor customer care. So with that said, Carrier is by Ferro Concept, the Slickster, and the attachments on it are by Agilite. Moving right on, let's move on to the rifles. I carry two primarily rifles, both of them made by IWI, the X95 Tavor and the Zion 15. Okay, this is an SBR. I do use uh, X95s in different configurations. This is my daily one. I use it when I teach, I use it when I compete. I use it, uh, sorry, I do not use it when I compete. I use it when I teach and operation for competition. I have the full length barrel, the 16 and a half inch barrel, uh, just to maintain accuracy at further distances, right? I think that this is my operational ones. I do have a suppressor made by OSS, right? I have my PEG-15 designator and I have an endpoint um, RSO, which is the law enforcement um, red dot. Really good, really rugged, really small. Uh, works really well for me. 
I am a big fan of the X95 platform. I do think between the X95 and the AR platform, both have advantages and disadvantages, but I do believe that the X95 is the smarter weapon system in the sense that it's all compact. And once you get comfortable with manipulating the bullpup design, it is really easy to run this and maintain control and balance uh, operationally and in prolonged uh, time frames. Design 15 that I use also has an endpoint comp 5 on it, a little bit of an older optic, but it served me well, so I'm still keeping it. This is also an SBR, it used to be a pistol, it did get registered, uh, so it is a 12 and a inch, uh, 12 and a half inch barrel. Uh, I'll be honest, it's a tack driver. This thing as accurate as you can expect an AR platform to be. Uh, I love this weapon, it is super light, it is fairly compact. And when I work with law enforcement agencies that only carry an AR platform, in order for me to match the platform they are carrying operationally and be the same thing when I teach, I teach using uh, Design 15. Um, I'm a big fan. There are a lot of upgrades on this platform compared to other AR manufacturers uh, that typically you would have to pay a lot of extra for, from a better barrel to better accessories. Uh, so certainly if you haven't yet, check IWI.US for both these weapon systems and a few others. I am a big fan, um, and just as a side note, if you ever want to learn how to shoot it, either of these weapon systems better, look for the four operator class and our carbine uh, rifle, combat rifle classes as well. Next, we will move on to my belt, my battle belt, right, or my instructor belt, depending on how you look at it. So this is made by Ferro Concept as well, kind of like the vest, right? It's a two belt system, so the base level, the base layer is on my pants. It is the, uh, I guess, the male part of the Velcro and this belt would have the female part plus a cobra buckle okay so once you put it on it just it sits there it does not move it is super secure super comfortable which is again why i'm a big fan and support them fair concept does make their own mac pouches they came up with them a couple years ago i have not installed them yet i do have them so i can attest to whether or not they're good or bad i don't know why this magazine is backward i'm putting it the right way it kind of bothers me a little bit um my glock magazines all of them will have a Terran Tactical Base Plate. That Terran Tactical Base Plate does two things. First of all, it's a plus two, so it allows you for two more rounds. But just as importantly, if not more, it adds that little bit of weight that assures that that magazine is gonna drop free every time I press the magazine release. Right? I have yet to have in a situation where a mag got stuck in and I had to strip it out. So it works really, really well. So those base plates, highly recommended. My mags, typically I use a mag pole. Uh, doesn't have to be. I also use, I'm gonna take it from my vest, Lancer, and I've had uh, the old GI one. So as long as they work, they're great. The only one I would stay away from is the Magpul Gen 2. So this is a Gen 3, and you can tell by the cutoff in the back, okay, being square and not rounded. Um, the Gen 2, just because of that cutout, have issues. They don't always feed well, and just stay away from them. Working back on my belt, a dump pouch, honestly. I don't even know the brand it is. It was a freebie in one of the conferences I took. Um, it opens pretty small. Have it. There's always stuff that you need to pick up and store away real quick. And that works really well, especially when I'm teaching at the range. Uh, so just make sure you have one, right? Coming to the holster and everything that's on it, right? So my holster is a Safarland ALS system, right? Uh, with a cutoff for an optic. Okay, I'm gonna start the back of it, this knife, right? Called the Desert Fox. It is our design. It's a SATA tactical design. It is made by Stroop Knives. Um, obviously, I'm biased. It is probably the best knife you'll ever have, right? It is designed to be a tool. It is thick. It is strong. You can use it as a pry bar. You can use it to cut through webbing, ropes, and fighting if you needed to. Uh, you can get this one on our website, Masada Tactical website, or Stroop Knives uh, website, right? So, certainly check that out. It is worth it. My pistol is a shadow system, Glock 19 uh, variation, right? I am a fan of a lot of the designs. Trigger, a little snappy for me, a little bit of a bite to it, uh, but if you can get over it, everything else on the gun works really well. Notice that same uh, Terran Tactical base plate. It is equipped with an optic. This is a Holosun. I love Holosun. I love the fact that they have the, uh, the solar type of rechargeable batteries. Uh, so just to show it's a backup to make sure that the, uh, the reticle is always on uh, when you need it to. It does have a battery that is side installed, so that makes it easier. Uh, you can place the battery without losing zero. As far as light, 
I do the uh, Surefire X300, okay? Super bright, works really well. I'm a huge fan. Uh, stream lights uh, are great as, as well, the TLR lines, uh, but as of recent, I seem to like the Surefire a lot better. Uh, the, I like the press button in order to get the temporary light on. Uh, just so you guys understand what I'm talking about. Okay, so if I, sorry, it's a two-way manipulation, but if I press that button, that light is gonna be on. So I don't necessarily need to manipulate it on and off. I can just press and it will allow me to keep that light on when I need it, depress and get back to work. This is on my, my ear pros, mainly when I teach, right? So uh, the Impact Sport by, uh, sorry, I'm gonna tell you the name. I don't know the name, all right? Uh, they're pretty common, okay, the Impact Sport, they work great. Um, they are electronic, meaning that I can hear you talk to me, but it does muffle the sound of the, uh, the shots fired. So great for instructor, probably not ideal operationally, all right? As far as eye protection. Go back and forth between two different pairs. Pair number one is the gators. Love the gators. Okay. They look cool. Sunglasses. All tier one operators use them. So, you know, rule number one, a god gunfight, look cool. So I have the same stuff that they do. Uh, they work great. They are still, which means if you leave them out on the dashboard in a sunny day, they'll get hot. If you leave them out on the dashboard on a cold day, they'll get really cold and then you put them on your face and you'll feel it. Um, also, you can adjust, you can bend them a little bit. Uh, it is not as simple to do as with some of the other brands out there, uh, but they are adjustable to some extent. If I don't want a true, um, true sunglasses and I still need protective glasses, I go with the Wiley X. Uh, I do like the orange uh, lens, especially on a day like this, partly cloudy and so forth. It really brings out the contrast between dots and targets and colors. Um, the nice thing about Wiley X, they will make uh, prescription lenses, meaning if you have, uh, like me, if you need progressive lenses, uh, you can get those from Wiley X. These are not, uh, but some of the stuff I'm looking into getting are uh, considering my vision is deteriorating as I am getting older. So this is the stuff I carry when I teach or when I'm operational or when I compete. Um, it's pretty consistent. It's always the same. Uh, it works. It's really good. Again, I told you what I don't like about each one of the things, if I didn't like it. Uh, but check out these brands. Check out Fair Concept. Great company. Check out IWI.US for their stuff. Uh, Safari Land, Gators Eyewear, Terran Tactical. Uh, those are the main ones that I suggest you take a look at. I will follow up with another video uh, answering questions about my concealed carry and everyday carry uh, tools and gear in the future. Until next time, watch your six.